everyone. I'm going to answer a question I got get a lot of this time of year, early spring, which is what are those black insects? What are those green insects? Or what are even those orange insects on my plant? Um, you can have them year round on your house plants and you can have them even year round. Well, generally not in the peak of winter in your garden. Some of them may have wings, as you can see right there. Um, they come in all different colors. They are a phloem sucker, meaning they'll pierce into the sugar transport part of the plant, the phloem, and pull out uh, sugars. And what they will leave behind is this sticky, it's called honeydew. It's basically their poo full of sugar. Um, you may notice ants coming onto your plant. So if you control the ants, um, generally that will allow natural predators to come and take care of the aphids for you. Um, so you want to control ants. Now, something else you want to look for is if I turn this leaf over, you will see some of the black aphids. You'll see some orange aphids, but you'll see these uh, white markings. Those are the uh, remnants of old aphids that basically have shed their skin. So if you have a whole bunch of that and no live aphids, don't worry, then, th then they're gone. But what you can also see, let me see on this leaf here, right here, those swollen beige things are, are where a parasitic wasp has injected its eggs into an aphid. They've swelled up and then the parasitic wasp has exited. So if you're looking at your plants and you notice a whole bunch of these round, beige, beige type structures, um, I wouldn't spray. You, it means you have natural predators around that are taking care of the aphids. If you see ladybugs, do not spray. Um, what you spray with is going to be a soap spray that you can make or not. Uh, you buy at the store, neem oil, and my favorite is just a hose blast. Um, generally those are best. What we're here lucky at the conservatory is those orange elongated things are the larvae of these specific midges, midge flies, that are eating the aphids. Now those do well inside the conservatory, but outside not so much. So. If you see them on your roses, if you see them on your plants outside right now, I would just monitor. They're gonna dissipate. To harm a plant, the numbers need to be really high. I mean, yes, if it's coating your plant with sticky stuff everywhere, just blast it off. What happens sometimes is when the plant gets so covered in this honeydew, mold will grow on it, and that's called sooty mold, and then that will block photosynthesis of the plant. So. A hose blast is your best. I can't stress it enough that you're gonna have aphids. It's not getting rid of the aphids completely is your goal. It's basically trying to minimize the aphids so they're not harming your plant. A few aphids, even this amount, isn't really gonna harm this vine here. Yes, they can multiply if there's not natural predators. Um, so yeah, I'll probably treat this here um, with probably some neem oil. It may seem like it's not working, but you are killing them. It's just sometimes their reproductive cycle is faster uh, and you can't really keep up with it. So you're gonna have to do these controls like every day or so. So that's aphids, don't freak out. Don't run and buy, you know, harsh, harsh chemicals. A uh, few there, even covering your rose buds. It's not horrific, it's not a problem. They will go away. So hopefully that helps, thanks.